This video is mainly for the benefit of people who are using AutoCAD for the first time. I'm going to explain some setup tips which will help you get going. All of your commands in AutoCAD are consolidated at the top here on this ribbon. We have drawing commands, modification commands which will allow you to make changes to drawn work. We have a layering system. There are a few videos on layers on this channel which I'd recommend you have a look at after this. Annotation, blocks, also some videos on these as well. And this is where you're going to spend the majority of your drawing time. At the top of the ribbon we have additional tabs which will take you through to more functions on the ribbon. But as I say, most of your drawing time is going to be spent on this home tab. Something which has been lost in AutoCAD when they came out with the ribbon layout were the drop-down menus. These you'll need to bring back. Little drop-down menu at the top here. Choose Show Menu Bar. Traditional users of AutoCAD will be familiar with these. The File drop-down, Edit, Modify, View, Insert, etc. I'd recommend that this be brought up. At the bottom of the screen we have some drawing aids. Just a right click over any one of those, bring up a small menu, and instead of the Use Icons option, we're going to untick that, and it'll take it back to the old traditional buttons with their names on. I'd recommend that for most users. You'll notice that a grid is on in the background. For most users, that's going to be useless. We can switch that grid off down here. The Snap button just next to Grid, this will force your cursor to snap to every increment of the grid size that you choose. Again, for most users, this isn't going to be useful. Just make sure that the Snap and the Grid is switched off, unless you specifically need to use it for the line of work that you're in. Something else which is important when we draw is to use the Object Snaps. When drawing around, I'm able to snap to things like Endpoints, Midpoints, snap perpendicular etc and those will only be working if your object snaps are on just a right click over the O snap button allows you to go to settings and you can choose which of these snaps are permanently on my recommendation personally is everything on the left hand side as well as perpendicular and nearest on the right obviously this is a personal preference but AutoCAD do leave off some fundamental snaps so it's worth just checking this before you get drawing At the top we have something called workspace switching. You can see it's currently set to drafting and annotation. You may work in an office where people prefer to switch to what's called the AutoCAD classic setting. This will take it back to a layout of toolbars around the screen which users would have been familiar with years ago. Same functions just laid out differently. My recommendation though would be to switch back to the newer ribbon system it is nice and efficient, especially for people who are learning AutoCAD for the first time. So it will look a little bit different, but it does function very well. And those are my setup tips. Uh, this is specifically for people who are clients of mine. But for anyone else who is looking to get going with AutoCAD, just putting those few things in place is going to help you get going with your drawing. 